Hello, thank you so much for joining me and today we're going to be doing crafts, crafts with mudlarking vines. Before I start this craft, I don't know if you've seen on the community page or not, I made a little bit of a, a mistake, let's say. I made an error of judgement on something, some part of this thing, this craft I made today. Right, I'm going to tell you now. I don't want to hear any comments about it, right? I know what I did wrong and I've rectified it at the end and you'll see that I've rectified it at the end. So, when you see it, ignore it. Right, I don't want to give too much away, but you're going to see something that looks... I can't stop laughing. I showed it to my daughter, the picture of what I'd done. And uh, she was just howling on the floor laughing. So I'm telling you now, this is a warning, a pre-warning. This craft has a little bit of a mistake in it, okay? A little bit of an error, a little bit of um, misjudged craftiness okay and it's right from the start it's right from the very start and I don't change it until I finish the whole craft and I sit back and I look at it and then when I see it I have to completely change it it doesn't alter the, the video whatsoever because what I change is something that um, you would do as you were doing it you do it correctly you do it correctly the first time okay but I will show you after I've finished the craft, what it actually really does look like now, because I've removed the offending items on this craft, okay? That's all I'm going to say. Sit back and enjoy, and please, if you're in the premiere, don't mention it. Don't mention it, because I'm dying a little bit inside, okay? Just a little bit dying inside. So, enjoy this Halloween craft. Uh, I hope it gives you a little bit of a giggle. There you go. Right, well, today is the second of our two big Halloween crafts and I don't know if you remember but um, gosh quite a few um, tip locks ago I found some bottles um, let me just swap the cameras over if you remember they were, I thought they were a little bit pumpkin shaped I think I found one in Yorkshire and two locally so I thought yeah a little bit um, pumpkin like so I have saved them for a while I didn't know where they were Okay, I'd put them in a safe place. But I want to turn them into pumpkins and do some sort of centre display on it. So, the idea is um, to, to turn this into pumpkin using some clay, um, some paint and a little bit of imagination. So, right, let's get to it. Let's start on this one and see how we go. So what I'm doing, I just want to put some clay on here and make a stalk. And as you know, clay isn't my thing, but we'll give it a go anyway. So I'm just using, I'm not changing it. I could do, I could knock it off or whatever, but I'm just going to use it as, as it is. So let me think, let me think. So I'm just putting the clay round to create the stalk. Don't want it too big. Okay. Really, I'm just using Daz. That's all I'm using. You can use your favourite clay, whatever it may be. I like Daz because it's cheap and cheerful. You can sand it. It air dries. It's, it's totally not a bad clay at all. So let me just show it you. Daz, D-A-S. Daz. 
cheap as chips this one look four pound this was still using the one that charlotte got me so there you go all right so i'm just making a rough stalk i've enjoyed i've just picked my pumpkins actually from the allotment so i sort of roughly know that they have a bit of a you know a gnarly stalk at the end there mine do anyway right it's only got to roughly look like a pumpkin hasn't it okay okay and i want a, like a little i will do something else to that to make it look more stalk like let me just fold my clay up there we go that out of the way then i want a piece of wire on it okay so i'm just going to get a piece of wire find my scissors in that safe place there we go here just want a small piece of wire i'm just going to do like a little hook at the end like that right that will go push into the clay and then up this bit i'm just going to give it a bit of a twist just a little bit so it's like one of the little like tendrils okay i'm just going to shove it into the clay just give it a bit of a, a turn so it sort of hooks in it okay then i'm going to get a skewer right okay there we go we've got this this that gonna let's make that a little bit thinner take some more of that just make it a little bit thinner like that like so okay and then with the skewer i'm just going to do lines all up it right don't have to be straight at all in fact they don't need to they don't want to be straight lines all up it Okay, and in the end, in the end of this clay, I'm just going to poke like loads of holes in. Right, and then right at the end bit of here, I'm going to go like that. Can you see how it's making it at the end? Flicking it up a bit. It really does make it look a little bit more like a pumpkin. Just makes it look a bit fibrous. Sorry bit fibrous okay can you see i know it doesn't look anything like a pumpkin now but when it's when it's colored painted whatever it is we're doing with it i, I promise you it will look more like a pumpkin okay right well there you go you've got your little tendril coming off it there your clay so what i'm going to have to do now is i'm going to have to um get the dryer on it get the blower on it and dry the clay and I do have two others here. So I've got that one there that I've done. It's not dry yet, I only did it about an hour ago just to show you. So I've got one there. Okay, so we've got that one, that one, and I've got another one here. So we've got three different ones, three different sizes. Um, and I know they look a little bit odd now, they look a little bit peculiar, but um but you know, stick with it, stick with it. And in the end, I'm sure we'll have pumpkins. But yeah, just let me give these a bit. These have had an hour already, so they're a little bit dry on the outside. I'm just going to give this a dry. So at least we've got a shell on it so we can work with them. But these will probably dry overnight. Right, I've dried that one for about five minutes now. It's got a good um, outer shell on it so that we can work with it. But... Uh, probably best for you if you wait for it to dry thoroughly but we don't have that sort of time here right so i think what i'm going to do first of all is i'm going to paint these stalks brown so let me see i must have a brown 
paint here somewhere. There we go. Right in front of me. A brown paint, acrylic. I always use acrylic because I was sent 10 ton of acrylic paint by someone called Lindy. I've just picked this one out. I thought this would do nicely. It's got golden ochre. I thought this would do nicely for the stems. So let's give it a go. Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna um, paint the stems first and then I should paint the little like tendril things as well and then we'll think about decorating them. I want to decorate each one differently. I mean, I haven't done this before. I've made one of these out of these bottles. So, you know, I'm saying it's gonna work. I'm hoping it is. So when I'm painting these, I'm gonna go onto the glass because that will be covered with whatever it is I'm decorating the glass with, but just to make sure we've got a nice neat edge on there. So and that's it, just painting the stems. Right, okay, there you go, there's one done. It looks quite orange under light, but it's, it is more of a, a brownie colour in reality. I've got an extra light on here today to light it up down here, but just changing the colour of that slightly. looks more orange than it actually really is. So what I'm going to do is I've done that one, and I'm now going to do these two. So I shall come back when I've painted them, because you know how to paint. You don't need to see me do it on everything. Okay, they're painted. It's just a bit plain though, it's a nice colour, um, a bit browner than you're seeing it there, but it's just a little bit too plain. I just want to put a, a second sort of brown colour over it, a very a lighter one. Um, I've just picked up this one, um, whichever that is, I don't know, it's, it's like a beige, doesn't really matter, sort of beige colour. Right, I just want to just brush it over a little bit. This one's a lot thinner, this paint. I think it's because it's old. Um, but I just want to give it a, just to, Give it a little bit of depth to it. Just in part, just to take the harshness off of the solid colour. Okay, a bit on the end there. It actually looks, looks stripy on there. It's not a striper here. Right, there we go. So I'll dry that and I shall put, in fact, I'll put it on all of these first. I'll do it on all of these. And then I'll dry them with the heat gun and I'll bring you back and we'll start decorating them. That's the last of those done now. So what I'm going to do now is uh, paint these little tendrils or whatever you want to call them green so I've got a little bit of green here I think I'll just wipe that one there we go wipe that one and stick the green in there let's give it a bit of a shake so yeah just these wires that have curled and stuck in there See, I'm going to paint them green. Just acrylic paint yet again. Mid green, doesn't matter what colour green, absolutely doesn't matter. Whatever you've got, that's why I do it, I just use whatever I've got to hand, okay? So I just want to paint these green. Right, hang on one second. I'm just going to get a whiteboard so that I can show you these things um, in a little bit more focus. Okay, I've got, got a whiteboard. Here we go. So that you can just see what I mean. I've painted that green on there. You can have a bit of a closer look at that as well. I know it doesn't look, it looks nothing at the minute. I'm hoping it will um, end up looking like a pumpkin. Um, let me hold it up to the top screen. Let's see if we can... Um, Let's see if it looks any better from a distance, maybe. There you go. So there's one pumpkin. Painted that thing green. 
haven't painted these ones green yet. Let's see, do you need the white card behind it maybe? You can see a little tendril on it. We'll paint that green as well. The third one. Okay. We, you see you have to work with the, the glass you've got there. Unless you completely cut it off, you're going to have to have a thick stalk. So that's probably why it looks a little bit like that. But let's trust the process, people. Trust the process. Right, I'm just going to paint these uh, last two little tendrils green and I'll come back to you and we'll do whatever it is we're going to do next. I'm laughing because it's just, <laughs> these are the most terrible pumpkins I've ever seen in my entire life. It's a sort of how I envisaged it, okay? We're going along the, the right path. We're going, we're, you know, trust the process, people. Trust the process. Right, let's pick one to start and um, decorate first. And I think I'm going to pick this one, which is probably the most pumpkin-like of all of them. I'm sure I had a, another another bottle as well, but if I ever find it, I'll save it for next year. Right, so that one, which is the most pumpkin-looking of them all, really shape wise I'm going to decorate that one first and that one I am going to paint orange if I can find the safe place where I put my orange paint which I thought oh it's in that right next to me of course it is yeah and this is um what I had on my wish list and that was bought for me Charlotte bought me that chalky finish okay this is definitely going to take two coats Okay, so let's give it a go. This is a lovely colour. I have tried it out on one of the mini crafts. I just started something on a mini craft just to see what it looked like and it looks fabulous. I haven't filmed any mini crafts yet for the week, Halloween weekend, but I have every intention of filming four little Halloween crafts. There we go. Right, let's get a bit of that for the lid. Right, this is a chalky finish furniture paint. Let's have a look and see um, how this goes so yeah it's going to be straightforward I'm just going to paint it orange a couple of coats This light is making this paint look very, very bright. It is not as bright as that. Let me see what it's like with the light off. Sorry, one second. Right, okay, I'll still leave the light on, but I'm, I'm telling you, it is not as bright. All these colors are not as bright as the light makes out. Okay, there you go. It's got a first coat. What I'm going to do is I'm going to dry that now. Okay, I'll dry that, give it a second coat, and then I'll come back and see what else we can do to this pumpkin or start another one. I think I, forget, I forgot to press record. I don't know what I've recorded now. Right, I painted this orange. Okay. And then I put the black beads around the top. I'm so sorry. I think I didn't press the button correctly and it's not recorded. So I got my black beads. Okay, you saw that I painted it orange, two coats of orange. I got my black beads. I've just hot glued those around the top of the base of the stalk thing. Then I got a white um, marker pen. Right, white marker pen. And wrote the word boo on it. Just that for detail. I might add more. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to see how it all looks together. But for now, I've painted that one orange. White marker pen. Blue. Boo. Even though it's lumpy, I think it still looks okay. You know, because the glass is uneven, you know, textured. It still looks okay. So I used the white marker and wrote that and just glued on the beads on there. And I'm so sorry you didn't see it. Um, I don't think I pressed the button correctly. So there you go. There's my mistake for this video. 
it's not one of my craft videos without making a mistake but you get the idea glue the beads right boo very simple right on to the second one and this one I've chosen the little dinky one and I'm going to gild it okay we're going to have a gilded one so we want to get the paint out of there Get all the paint out of there so that we can put some glue in. I'm just throwing it roughly towards the bin. Okay, right. We want some gilding glue, which is this one. I'm sure gold metal metal leaf size. Okay. Or gilding glue. So just pop a little bit in there. See how we go with that. Just going to put the gilding glue all over this one um, and then we're going to dry it with the heat gun. Sorry, I keep doing that thing about putting it close to me, which means that you can't see it. So that's not good. Right, so I'm just putting the gilding glue or the leaf size or gold leaf size onto the glass. And I'll say it again, just in case you're a newbie, when um, a gild anything, sometimes you miss a spot with the glue and you don't realise until you put your gilding flakes on it. But when you've done it, you can redo it so you can re put the glue over the bits that you've missed. So it's never a disaster, you can always rescue it. Okay, so I will end up with gilded fingers. No doubt, I'll have some orange gilded fingers today. There you go, there's the gold, um, the gilding glue on there. I'm going to get the dry, the dryer on, the heat gun. Let's get it off my fingers. Then I'm going to heat it up, uh, dry it, dry it off with the heat gun. Right, I think that's dry now. It certainly looks it. There might be a few thicker bits that are a bit wet but let's work with what we've got here and there's some wax on this tray here I know because the heat gun has just um, melted it so I'm just going to wipe it off not quite sure what the wax is off don't know right okay because we don't want to wipe that on do we right just wipe some of these gilding flakes off there that are on there as well right I have now there we go Roughly towards the bin. Got my gold, my orange leaf. Okay, so we've got some orange. This was, you know, somebody bought me a load of this leaf. Oh gosh, ages and ages ago. Subscriber got it me off my wish, wish list, which I'm always very, very thankful for. Comes in handy at some point. So we just want to just stick it on. Let me just wipe my fingers before you end up with gilded fingers get a big brush okay so I've got plenty of these Let's just whap them on sorry I've got my arm in the way I'm just merely just placing them on the glue and then I'll use the brush to brush it onto the glue This orange is actually a beautiful colour. Really nice. There we go, just need to keep pressing it on and putting it on with the brush. Right, 
that will do a bit more on the bottom there we go so we've got a lot of sheets I've got a lot of sheets left now that one on, that one on there just need to press it on before we start brushing it the last few sheets now I'm glad I chose the little bottle to do the gilding on not the big one because of a feeling I might have had to um, I don't know, mix the colours press it on okay I think we all pressed on now. Look at that, that looks absolutely beautiful. Sorry, my hand's in the way a bit there. of it off okay, let's... right look at that that looks amazing I'm going to put that on the top camera there you go look at that that is super super shiny okay right just let me get rid of this gilding and then we can start on the third and final one. No, I'm not doing the third one. I need to decorate this one. It's only gilded. It needs a little bit more than gilding, doesn't it? It needs a little bit of something else. So let's swap back cameras back down to there. I've got a little bit of this fringe type ribbon. So let's see what that looks like. I may just put that on a tight round. Like in a knot. Yep, I think I will. I think I'll just tie that bit of fringe round. Like I do when they're on the bottles. Cut it a little bit. There we go. That's got that way. And I think, you know what, I wonder if using a black marker I could just do a very faint. Should I do another word? What should what what word could I do on that? No, I'm gonna do a face. I'm gonna do like a Halloween face on it. Okay, if it doesn't work, I'll gild over it. You know, no worries there. I have got a little bit of gilding left. So I'm gonna see if this black marker oh it's a porcelain pen. Might work, might not. I'm gonna see, so I'll just doesn't need to stand out. Fantastically. Let me turn the light out one sec. You can just about see that triangle there. It's because everything's reflecting right off this thing. So I'll, I will do two triangles for eyes. I know you can't see it because it's ever so shiny. You might be able to see it on the front camera. I'll do another triangle there. another eye it is how I want it it is still quite subtle but you can see it better with the naked eye and then I want a toothy toothy sort of grin that they have you know what I mean right um, 
might show it on the top camera because you might be able to see it there. I'll show it there, not sure. Mm, can't quite pick that up, so I'm going to just pop it on the other camera, let's see. Let's see if you can see it there. There you go, there you go. You can see it there, just a subtle spooky face. It looks like you can see through the glass, but you can't, it's just a reflection. Uh, there you go, so there we go, we've got that one there. Put them both together, let's see how we're going. You know what? I'm super, I, mean, I know West Country's past comment. I can just. I know it's past comment on these stems of these things already. I can, let me tell you. I can just imagine that he has, right? And I'm sorry if he hasn't, but I know he's thinking it, right? So that one that says boo, and that one's got a face on it. I think so far so good. Not too bad. Not too shabby, right? So let's now go on to the third one because that one definitely is decorated, and this is the third one. And I'm going to take a patch this one. Yeah, so um, come back in one second when I've got everything ready. I've swapped the glue out now for um, deca patch glue. Oh, sorry, wrong camera. For deca patch glue. All right. Um, I know people. Some people call it decoupage. What I'm doing is decoupaging. There are two. Um, two camps on this. One that's one lot that says decoupage, and then. The, other lot that says decker patch and I'm in the decker patch one actually so um yep yeah there are there are decoupage and decker patches which is exactly the same thing so we're gonna get this decker patch glue and we're gonna cover our um bottle and I'm gonna decoupage it decker patch it with now I've said it decker patch it with an um, old newspaper so that's I think 1937-38 newspaper. So let's start putting it on. Don't forget this glue acts as a varnish as well, not just a glue. And although it looks quite messy when you put it on, the finished product is really quite nice. It's just a case of layering it on, making sure glue is underneath the paper and glue is on top of the paper. Underneath the paper so that it sticks on top of it so that it gives it like a varnish. It doesn't matter if your paper rips, this paper is very very fragile very fragile and it doesn't matter because that's what you do, you patch it up anyway. Just do the top part first. You see a gap, you just fill it with a bit of newspaper. That's the idea. And this is quite um, a bumpy glass, so I need to push the paper into the grooves on this, really. Okay. I know not everybody finds newspaper. I've not found newspaper in a long time. And I think the last lot I gave to somebody else anyway. Um, yeah, it's not something you find that often and people think people have said on videos not even not necessarily my videos other videos have seen they've said oh i can't believe that's not you've not really found that newspaper how can it have lasted in the earth all that time but trust me you can find newspaper in the ground for like that's been there for nearly 100 years and it does look like this the middle bits you can save the outer bits tend to uh, you can't really save. Right, so there you go. I'm just going to carry on doing that. It's just patching up bits of old newspaper, putting glue underneath and glue on top and pushing it in to the grooves, okay? So I'll come back when I've covered it all 
in the newspaper. That's um, done now. I'm gonna, just going to dry it with the heat gun and then see how we can decorate it. And then I've just got something to put them onto, which needs decorating as well. And um, we can do that in a minute. But for now, I'll just dry this with the heat gun. I've decided on this one. Uh, hold on, let me hold it up to there. Thank you. On this one, this decker patched one. Let's hold it there so you can see the newspaper a bit more clearly. Lovely sort of autumn colours, that one. That one, I'm going to drip some wax down. So I've had it melting on there. Sorry, let me change this one. I've had it melting in this pot here. I've got, it looks bright orange again. It's not that bright, honestly. I've got a mixture of um, orange, mainly orange, um, a bit of gold, a bit of like a brownie beigey colour. Um, I'm just going to see what that looks like poured on. I think it's um, melted enough now. This might not be enough to do all of it, but I can melt another lot. Well, I'm going to need to melt a little bit more, I think, but yeah, it's looking nice. I just need to pop a few more. These are great, these things, honestly. And these pellets are fabulous. So, you just, you can't see it on the light, probably, but I can see, like, whispers of the gold in that. So, I am definitely going to add some more little gold pieces. You just get, like, a big selection of all sorts of different colours here. So, you stick them in. Melt them down add a few different colours, I might even add a little bit of a very very dark brown actually, a very dark brown with that and you just melt it on there and that'll take a few minutes and we'll pop back when that's ready to be able to pour over that. I think another different layer over there and then maybe something round there, maybe not, not sure. Second lot I think is melted now, put some other colours in, some darker colours can you see a little swirly effect going on there? It's uh, all a case of pour it and see, really. See what happens. Yep, that is definitely better. Having a little bit more on there. Let me take that up to there so you can see. A bit like a volcano effect on the top of that pumpkin. You go for some reason the light on top of that camera isn't working I don't know never mind that light's not working I probably wore the battery out or some such thing but let me just pop it on to the one at the top there you go a bit like a little bit of a volcano going on there but I think I've got the colors just right with that wax okay so let's figure out where the front is I think I'm going to say the front is that one there with a little bit of the tendril on it and a nice bit of wax there so if that's the front this one I'm going to stick on some some creepy crawlies uh, I know the light's gone off but you can see I've got a few creepy crawlies there and those are the ones that I'm going to stick on this one hot glue gun that's all that's needed oops there you go, scorpion. So it. Snake. Stick another scorpion here. Face it the other way. That's going to be the front wall we'll of a little spider there might as well stick a snake at the back since we've got the snake we might as well use it okay snake at the back okay there on there let me just flip the camera again okay so you can see it's got some bugs on that one I know, I know what you're thinking. It looks absolutely nothing like a pumpkin. 
just go with it go with it this was what I had envisioned um, when I picked up these bottles and they actually do look like I thought they would do so I don't know what that says about my vision but anyway so right we've painted one we've decoupaged one and we've gilded one right and uh, before I remind you what they look like I'm going to start on the base it needs a base you can't just put them on nothing you can't just put them on a table not that I've even got a table because I haven't I don't know why I make all these centerpieces because I don't have a table to put them on goodness knows where this one's going to go because it's massive I don't even know I don't even know right well I've got a I've got about five log slices left. Okay, I've collected them over the years. I've got about five left. This was the biggest one. You used a big one. Right, what I want to do with this one is, I'll take you back down to the desk. Okay, I want to paint it first. I was going to use black, but you know what? I just, I've got my usual paint, my um, furniture paint, chalky finish. Okay, got that. So, might as well use it. I can use that gilding brush, don't matter about the gilding. The paint is darker than the gilding. Okay, let me just unplug my glue gun. Safety first. Right, so usual paint. Is this like graphite colour? Just want to paint this base first. So let me blow that candle out, sorry, on that wax. Don't need that anymore. Okay, that's dry. As a lot of the times when I do these painting on the logs, I leave um, an edge. I don't know why, it's just um, what I do and how I do it. So, I want to put the, the pumpkins on. You can't see them, they're off screen. But I want to put the pumpkins on here, but I want to put something else on this. And I'm thinking maybe the odd sort of spider web. So, I'm just going to use this chalk marker. To try and paint. Please don't tell me it's running out, that's all I need. We might just be able to get away with it. Okay, we've got a bit of a spider web thing going on there. Okay, just a little bit there and because this is running out, I'll see what else I've got. I've got the black one, that's no good. What's this one? What is this one? Just can't see it on there. Let's see what this is. Just let me test it on something. Hmm, might be able to see that one. Well, I can paint over it if it doesn't work. Um, you know the score. So I might, I think the pumpkin should fit on there. Let's have a, I don't want to put the pumpkins on, I don't want to spoil this, the effect of the fantastic finish, let's say. I'm going to put Halloween at the bottom first. Okay, I think that might be all it needs. Let's put the bottles on. There's the other one. There we go. The third one. You know what? It actually, it actually doesn't look that bad. It doesn't look that bad. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking it was going to be a disaster. This actually does not look that bad. Let's see if we can 
turn it this way, turn it the right way to the, the little camera down there. Okay, let's go make a little bit of space. I don't think it looks that bad. Uh, you might disagree, but you know what, it was a fun make anyway. There you go, a great big table decoration for a table I don't even have. We've got a little face on that shiny pumpkin, we've got boo on that one, we've got bugs and wax dripped on the other one. I'm going to show it to the top camera. You know, slightly tilt it forward. You know, probably not the best pumpkins you've ever seen, but they were made from bottles. I mean, you know, it's what I had to work with, but we've done it. Another major Halloween craft, and goodness knows where that is going to go. I know it sounds so cheesy, but my gosh, it's the most perspective building thing. There we go. I have rectified the terrible, terrible mistake. As you can see, I, when I did the um, clay on the stalks, I did it around the glass. This time, I've took it. I just came back. I took it off, and I've done it in the glass. Okay, just to make it smaller. So there you are. They're far, far better now. Far better. That looks so much nicer and much more appropriate. So yeah, there you go. I hope you all had a good laugh at that. But I have rectified it and it does look a million, million times better. Right, okay, you've all had a good laugh at this week's video. There you go. I've altered it. I've made it a bit better. Okay, there you go. I think that's still a nice centerpiece. Um, I'm going to even suggest it looks better in person, to be honest. There you go. Three pumpkin shaped sort of bottles made into a little Halloween um, table decoration. There you go. And please just ignore everything that's gone on before with what you had to see. I'm sorry about that. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified when we put any videos up. And also don't forget if you really enjoyed it we have got the Kofi link down below which you can donate the price of a coffee to us and we appreciate it very much. Thanks for watching. Bye.